Hey everyone, it's Joy here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a really awesome day. Today I'm sharing some products from Spellbinders from like the Boo Party Collection. And I've got this cute little mummy and a hot foil plate. Now I just realized as I've started this voiceover that um, I don't have the names of everything, but I will have those listed and linked for you below, so no worries. But here's this awesome foil plate. I'm gonna foil this on white cardstock. This is Simon Says Stamps 120 pound cardstock. It's really good and hefty. I love it for foiling. I'm going to tape a hinge on this. So if you've watched any of my other foiling videos, I'm you know what this is, but if you've not watched it, um, I do that so if I don't get a great foiled image to begin with, I can just slide another piece of foil in, lay my um, foil plate down and foil it one more time. I'm using some black foil for this background, which is totally perfect for Halloween, you know. I'm gonna trim off my excess if my scissors work correctly. And you guys know I do have that trimmer for foil, but sometimes I'm too lazy to take it out. <laughs> so my uh, Glimmer Hot Foil system is heating up. I push the button, I'm gonna pull that out of the docking station, add my shims. I'm going to run this through my Platinum 6 die cutting machine, nice and slow, and I like to do it front and back. And then I will dock this back one more time and then pull it back. And when I lift up this foil, you'll see this beautiful foiled background. Isn't it so awesome? Okay, let's do some ink blending on it. I've got some an orange combination here of dried marigold, carved pumpkin, and crackling campfire. I do bring in a little bit of black soot here in just a little bit. But I'm just going to add this to the background, and I'll gently wipe off the foiled dots because this ink will sit on top of it, but I don't want to rub too hard because you don't want to rub your foil off. Uh, just like, you know, with a rag or whatever. So I'm just gonna do my little ink blending. I'm using a stencil mat from Waffle Flower. I love the stencil mat, and as you can see, it is well used. It's so discolored, but it works fabulously. I did trim this card panel down uh, smaller than an A2 sized. Then I have the star stencil, and I am pretty sure, now I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was from last year's Stamp Timber with Tim Holtz. So obviously you can't get this anymore, but this is like the only star stencil I have. So if you just have a star stencil in your stash, just throw some stars on the background. And I'm using the crackling campfire to apply that. Here's the cute little uh, die, this cute little mummy die. I just think he's so much fun. So I wanna die cut the base part of the money, money, mummy, this funky green. And this is lime green from Cardstock Warehouse. And then of course, all his little mummy wrappings um, are just a white cardstock. So now I'm gonna glue those together. I did have a couple pieces left over. I just could not see where they went. I mean, he was completely covered. I just couldn't figure out where they went, but you know, maybe you guys, if you already, if you guys already have this, maybe you know, I don't know. But anyways, he's cute and he's covered, so I'm just gonna use some liquid glue and my tweezers to adhere that to him, but I love that he's green behind his little wrappings because it makes him look kinda grody, <laughs> like maybe he's rotting. You have a cute little piece, two pieces actually, that have like little frayed ends that you can um, have go off of like his shoulder and his head. It looks like his little wrappings are just, you know, flying in the wind. You have the wrappings for his legs. I'm gonna add just uh, a couple more pieces. I'm gonna add this large piece here, which clearly it doesn't go there, but I put it there and I just trimmed it off just a little bit, but I feel like he looks great. So this is a dancing little character, so definitely stick around because I'll show you how that's done. It's super easy. I added some white cardstock behind his eyes and cheeks. We will color those later, but that's gonna fill in there. And then you have his little legs. So I'm gonna line him up on my background. Oh, excuse me, first I gotta, I gotta age him. So I was getting ahead of myself. I'm using Hickory Smoke and a small blender brush, and I'm adding just a little bit to him just to dirty him up, you know, because he can't come out all nice and clean. And I don't mind if a little bit gets on that green because again, that's the little grody part of him. And I'm keeping it very, very light. You could also use a tan color like antique linen or something like that as well. But I just went with the gray because quite frankly, it was on my desk. So that's what I'm using. Okay, so now we can 
um, put this little guy together. I believe that's what I'm doing next. And you need a little piece of foam tape, like a little foam square that's gonna go in that circle. So I'm gonna line this up on my back panel to get exactly where I want it. You're gonna put that piece of foam tape there. Now, when you die cut those legs, there is a little circle left over. I'm going to adhere that to the top. Then I'll add some foam tape behind the top part of the mummy and then add a little bit of liquid adhesive to that dot on his leg so that way they adhere together but the legs can freely swing back and forth which is cute which you know spellbinders has has a few other characters that do the same thing and it's really super simple and cute to make a really neat little interactive card look at how cute he's just dancing away okay this is where i thought you know i need a little bit of black soot on the edges so i'm just using that same little small blender brush and I'm just going to blend the top and bottom edges. I'm not going to do it down the sides. And then you can see that really just kind of makes it a little spookier. I decided to use some uh, Trinity Stamp Twinkle Twinkle. They're little like st cute little stars. I'm going to add a few of those on the background. And then I have the sentiment that says you're spectacular. It's from Tailored Expressions, like Simple Strips Halloween, I believe. And that was in my stash. And then... I don't have the name of this product, but it's a 3D embossing folder from Spellbinders. I'll have that listed for you and linked below. I have an A2 size piece with black cardstock that I adhered this guy to, and then I will adhere it to a white A2 size card, uh, card base. But he is done, and isn't he super cute? And I love that he moves, and I love that foiled background. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope you guys have a really wonderful day, and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye!